I would love to go out and play a game show house. Hi, I'm your host, Skip Pause for Effect, and I want to know, are you ready to play Who Knows Their Best Friend Best? But I have this kind of like, you know, soft face instead of a chiseled face, so and this allows me to actually do that, right? Each contestant must work in perfect tandem with their best friend to defeat a gigantic lizard monster. <laughs> Or uh, play a gopher, because like in real life, I'm not one. You're like, as close on as they could get, though. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> right? They just needed somebody with poor posture uh, and sad eyes. Um, this is weird. When I was auditioning for Loaf, I planned on doing him kind of more like this, kind of down and stuff like that. What? That isn't what I was saying at all. But then at the last second, I was like, you know what? I'll just do a more spazzy because he's like always kind of after these people. So the energy kind of maybe matched that more. For once, will you guys listen to us? <laughs> Finally. Now here's what we need to do. First off, the lizard is really big. So uh, we really don't like you, like at all. My favorite thing about Lisa, cause I got to think about this while he was yeah, mumbling. Um, <laughs> I, love that her determination, mm. even though it's for something like destroying somebody else's life. I know, right? She's so determined, she has no filter, and she's got so much energy, and she's bossy and loud, so she could just say whatever she wants. Seriously, that proves nothing. It just kind of got placed up, way up into my, like, about as nasally and high as I possibly could. What Loaf dislikes most in the world is Bagel and Becky. Ugh, too hot to swing. But good for my back, though. Ah! Ah! Not good. Not good for my back. When coming up with a voice for Percy, he's small and he's very diminutive and he's very weak and he's sick. I got a sick feeling in my stomach right beside my normal sick feeling in my spleen. Oh, hey, I guess I didn't need that new designer tuxedo after all. I kind of wanted it bigger and louder and just a little bit, I don't know, less control than you'd think he'd have. That plan never works. And somebody that I, that I thought was amazing when I was younger, uh, stand-up comic was Bobcat Goldthwait. Ha <laughs> ha, yes! And he has this just great, larger than life, because he's a small guy himself, and I thought that was perfect for Percy. Um, <laughs> so I started did, Kind of an impression of him, but a much smaller version. Uh, is that just me? Or does that sound like a musk elf backing up a dump truck full of dirty diapers? Maybe you can do something else useful, like, uh, make us some lunch. To do Becky's voice, I, uh, show up and speak. <laughs> There's no research involved. Yeah, sure, great, whatever. No real thinking about her. Ah! 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 And I get to yell a lot. <laughs> and I really like to yell. Hi! I am Becky. <laughs> la, 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 la. It's the Big Old Becky Show!